Okay, time to give Peaches at Yorkie Peachy Girl her bath with her Cowboy Magic Conditioner and Shampoo. And then we use some of the detangler on her during the week. Excellent product, keeps her shine and keeps her hair beautifully manageable all week. And you can see she's got a very long coat. We fill the sink with a rubber mat, which I always use. It gives them some stability. And nice warm water, never hot. And I always put a little bit of the shampoo in first, just to kind of get the real yucky stuff off, especially on her back end. And then we rinse it out. So we're going to go ahead and rinse it out and come back to you. Okay, we're back. And now we're gonna take some of the shampoo. Some people like to dilute it. Uh, we, got, we put so much water on her that it really doesn't matter. And we've got her ears with little cotton balls so it's not in her ears. And of course, always careful around her face and eyes because you can rip any, any kind of shampoo, you don't want to get it in their eyes. And we always keep some paper towels on the side just to wipe her eyes, which you'll see in a minute. Right? Yes, a good girl. She's a good girl. She usually lies down in her bath which she probably will do in a few minutes because she likes to relax in it. And we'll get her back in. I like this product because it doesn't soap up a lot, um, which makes it easier, but rinsing is critical, as with any shampoo and conditioner. So you've got to rinse, and when you think you're all rinsed, you rinse again. And always keep testing that water because they really do not like it hot. Pick up your head, baby girl. Good girl. She knows she closes her eyes. Close your eyes, baby girl. Good girl. So we'll step back and come back in a minute. And we're still rinsing from when we left you a minute ago. And you can see that she just loves lying down in here. It's her favorite thing to do, which sometimes I know a lot of you say that you can't keep your dog in the sink or the bathtub. We have the opposite. You can't really get to do her properly because she's always lying down. So getting her to stand up, come on, stand up, baby girl. Sometimes it's a hassle and see, she'll sit right back down. So we got, we're just getting her completely rinsed off and then we're going to show you the conditioner, which is the best part of this whole thing. Okay, go. Okay, so we've got the balance of what was in the container, which was the conditioner. Again, keeping it careful away from her eyes, her nose. They don't like it. They don't like this part. And she's still lying here because we, I usually just leave her for a few minutes just to soak. It's kind of nice. The water is wonderfully warm. And because her coat is long, it gives it um, a beautiful shine sitting in this conditioner and makes it so easy to take care of. Okay, you girl. We gotta get up to rinse you, baby girl. Yep, my sweetheart. Yep, just get up, baby girl. Okay, come on, stand up. Whoa. Get her to stand up is a trip. She's not interested. I'd rather just lie there. And we always uh, tend to wash her more on Monday. We do wash her once a week. Some people think it's too much. Her coat is beautiful, so I see no problem with it. I think it has to do with using the Cowboy Magic shampoo and conditioner, which is the rose water fragrance, which is just light and not overpowering. And we do wash her on Mondays because we take her to do her certified therapy work at the hospital. And obviously, um, it's a great idea to clean her off from the hospital visit. Okay, baby girl, so we'll stop here and we'll show you the rest. Okay, and now comes the final ring it out. Most of you might not have to do that because they have shorter coats. Hers is longer, so we wring her out. And also, if you are interested in the Cowboy Magic conditioner, shampoo, or detangler, it is carried on 
YorkiePeachyGirl.com, which is her web boutique, as well as some other fabulous prizes. Uh, sorry, not prizes. Other items. I'm thinking prizes because we're running a contest on her uh, web boutique. If you go on her guest book. So that's why I said prizes. And also take out her little cotton balls in her ears or their ears. Because you don't want to leave that in. And we're going to give her to Daddy, because Daddy is going to pick her up and dry her, as he usually does. She loves her Daddy. Cover her head up. <laughs> Somewhere in there, there's a Yorkie. There you go. And that's it. And we'll do some grooming in a few minutes. Take care. Okay, so now that we're all bathed, we're going to... I like to put a clip in her hair so that it's not in her eyes because obviously she's got a lot of hair. And we're going to show you how we blow her out. I'm not going to do the entire video because it would be 20 minutes and you don't want to sit for 20 minutes. But what I do is I usually brush her out. And of course with the Cowboy Magic... Whoops. Let me just put that back on there. Okay. With the Cowboy Magic Detangler... I usually put that on just before I'm going to um, brush her out put a little bit more. Okay. And you can see that her coat comes out really, I mean, look at this. As they say, the proof is in the hair. And I also like to do her ears um, before they get very, very wet. So I will show you how I do her ears. Sit down. You have to watch for the leather, and I like to do it again when it's wet, Whoops. because it's easier to see it. And you can see it in the light. I think you can. You can see where the hair is and where the leather is, if that's showing up. And of course, this is all growing out now. We had somebody who didn't do it quite right. But very, very carefully going up the line. I like to keep that point trimmed because she's got cute little Yorkie ears. Right, baby girl? Yes, you do. Cute baby girl Yorkie ears. And we'll do the other side. Again, feel for the leather. Do not try and just cut without feeling for that leather. Or you'd have a real, as they say, bloody mess on your hands. Okay, so we've got not quite great point. And we'll do the other one as well. And again, do it when it's wet. I think it's easier. Very hard when it's dry. Okay, baby girl. And we're only going part way down because I just like to see the tips of the ear. Again, all this is still growing back in. We had somebody who got a little too happy with the scissor. Okay, so we've got somewhat of a point there. And I also do a little bit around her eyes. And this is a rounded, blunt scissor so that you don't hurt them. She's very good. I mean, she will sit and let you do whatever you want. Right, peachy girl? You're the best girl in the world. Okay, so that part's out. And we're going to blow it a little bit more. Okay, I just also want to show you, and this only applies really if they have long coats, but for those that do, um, I separate the hair so that it's just easier, just like I would do my own hair, and this way I can just dry the bottom, okay?
Okay, so we've finished one side, and you can see that gorgeous Cowboy Magic Shine comes through, which I love. And this other side, it's still not done, so we've got to dry that. But we did finish one side, and by doing it in layers, it just comes out a lot easier and straighter. And also her legs do those. Still, there's, She's got a bit of a wave on her leg, but make sure to do that. And her back end, we trimmed also a little bit. We don't want to show you back end. That wouldn't be right. Um, but we do keep uh, that trimmed. All right, and now sit down, baby girl. We'll show you on her top knot. I usually bring it up from the side. And, oops, one sec. Okie dokie, girly girl. Yeah, it looks so pretty. Who looks so pretty? Huh? Her hair is quite long on top, so what I've been doing lately, and I'm going to show you a trick is during the week when she's not doing her photo shoot for America's Top Dog Model, I keep it on the side. If you go to the side versus the front, if you go to the front, you get this, okay? If you go to the side, show you, her groomer taught me this trick, then when it falls, it just falls to the side, okay? And I usually do braid it too. But So for right now, we'll leave it sort of to the side. Mommy's doing it a little... Cockeyed. We'll put in her new peachy top knot bling, right? So pretty. She does like her bows. And we'll continue on the other side and a little shake. Okay. Okay. I also just want to show you, I use one of these little, I guess it's like a, I don't know, flea comb, but it doesn't have fleas. I got it from the vet and I just kind of keep that brushed out around her eyes. And another little tip, I like to keep Q-tips and just kind of wipe anything. I find when I just spin it like that, it takes away more than using a cotton swab. And on her ears, and she also has the brush. I got this at Pet Supplies Plus. I like it because it has the rounded bristles. And on her ears, I like to use this product, Epiotic, which was from the vet. It's just vet recommended. And I kind of usually just drop some of it in. I do not put the Q-tips in her ears. Um, usually I pour it in and let it sit, but I don't want her shaking all over the place right now. And also, just to show you, yeah, she, she's already licking the tube. She loves getting her teeth brushed. We usually wet the toothbrush. You can see, this is her favorite. And this is also the CET from the vet. I know, baby girl, I know you love your toothbrush. They love licking it if they don't want it in their mouth. A little trick that also was taught is put it in their mouth and sort of keep their mouth closed, gently. You know, you don't wanna, they have to breathe, okay? And same thing on the other side. Put it in towards the back and back and forth. She loves it. And then when usually when I'm doing it real quick cause she still has to have her dinner, brush your teeth after dinner every night because Yorkies are famous for their teeth problems. And then she'll lick it and lick it and lick it. And that's about it. So this is Peaches with Yorkie Peachy Girl on Facebook. I hope you stop by and paw our page and like it. And also visit her new web boutique at YorkiePeachyGirl.com where we of course have the cowboy magic, lots of other good items. So say woof, say woof, sit down. Little America's top dog model looks so pretty, right?